I am Ming-Wei Zhang. Um, I worked at Cloudflare as a senior system engineer. Um, so this is a talk about um, Cloudflare and our recent uh, introduction of a routing information on Cloudflare Radar. Um, so let's start with uh, Cloudflare Radar. So Cloudflare Radar is our uh, public-facing um, website that shows a lot of the trends on um, internet traffic that we observe and also uh, security attacks, um, the different types of security um, trends, and then uh, uses adoptions. So in our um, kind of internal terms, we call it the uh, public internet weather station. So it's like a, we wanted to treat it as a, um, a weather station where we observe all the things that are happening, and then we want trying to extract insights and then pr uh, produce more insights to the public. So radar is uh, everything there is free to public, and then we um, we allow users to actually access the the information both on the website as well as on the uh, using the APIs. So um, again, back to the the radar, it has uh, traffic trends, it has attacks, and it also has uh, technology trends, including like the adoptions and insights. So there's a lot of information on radar. So if you haven't checked out radar before. Um, I suggest you just go take a look at all these fancy, cool graphs that we've put it up there. Um, it has something like everyone likes, like um, the traffic volume trends. We also now put like outage detections uh, directly onto a traffic volume trend. So if you see a anomalies that is happening to a given region, a country, a network, or ASN, then you can probably notify notice that there's a um, like outage parts uh, that's showing up and then um, painting us red. Um, and then again, recently we also introduced another section called uh, Internet Quality Index, which is um, a pretty broad uh, measurement study on how the bandwidth, latencies, DNS response time, and other types of um, like measurement studies on different networks. And we're trying to produce insights on whether a, good, um, a given network is uh, giving good internet qualities. Um, and then uh, apart from the internet qualities or network qualities, we also have an outage center. So this is a, a curated uh, internet outages that we um, produce by both the automated systems as well as the uh, expertise, uh, experts behind um, and manually inspecting all these uh, outages that are detected. So now to the topic, we ha now have a more routing information on radar too. Um, the, the routing information is available at the uh, radar.cloudflare.com slash routing, and it contains a good deal of BGP goodies there. So we have, um, so starting from uh, routing statistics, we now have a count of prefixes um, like kind of origin, uh, prefix origin pairs, and IPv4, V6 prefix ratio, and, and, and also the RPK status ratio. So many of the things that we talked uh, in the previous talks, we talked about like the, uh, for a given country, for Canada, we have 30, 37% of the uh, prefix are valid, um, and those stats are also available on Cloudflare Radar. And if you go to the country page on the, on the radar section, you will see all these in the, in the table and in the visualizations as well. And these uh, routing statistics available for both global and uh, country and for any specific given ASN. And for, for, uh, for the routing information, we also include the routing anomaly detections as well. And this is throwing it for free. So we got uh, route leak detections we got, we got BGT hijack detections, as well as we're also having a table showing the RPKI invalid MOASs, which is multi-origin uh, ASS cases, which are likely to be um, anomalies that are uh, not supposed to be out there, right? So these are also available as um, either tables, or if you click on any one of the events, there's a detailed page that shows more information over there. And then um, there are also other ways to access that. I will talk about that later. And for any given uh, network, and then oh, uh, we also have a, a more detailed pages for like a prefix that announces, um, and then also with the visibility. So we do count for um, the number of um, collectors or the vantage points that we do see the, uh, the prefix announced and we get a percentage of how many of those are, are visible from the global routing table, 
we have an RPCast that is also attached with each uh, prefix announced. So you can, you can also filter by RPCast invalid. So for example, if you're an operator, you want to see how many of, if there's any of the prefix that you announce in your network is RPCast invalid, you can just quickly go there and filter by invalid, and you'll see the list of prefix that are invalid if there's any. And then also we have a, a tab for uh, connectivities. So we can show you the, um, the upstream, downstream, and the peers that we inferred um, that you have for, for the connectivities. And this is based on inference. So there can be some inaccuracy there. So if you see um, some data that are not matching what you expect, uh, please reach out. And for, for any given country, we also have a, a routing statistics there as well. And then we also uh, have a list of ASs that are registered in, this, uh, in the country. And this is, for example, when you're looking at a country level outages, you want to search for what is the biggest ASs over in this country. You can just go there and then it's by default uh, sorted by the number of, prefix, number of prefixes announced. Um, and you can also search by name or ASNs in the search bar. And then a part of uh, the, the AS is registered. We also put like a routing anomalies that are associated with this given country based on the registration information. So for example, if one AS uh, did a hijack and then it's registered in a given country, then it will show up on the country page as well. So all this information are available uh, via uh, the website, the APIs, and also now with the notifications. So first of all, everything that you see on radar is free to use and it's available to everyone. And then the website is completely free to use. And then also you can uh, now use the APIs to access that. So we don't require any uh, the access to uh, where the users to be paying customers. So anyone with a registered Cloudflare account accounts can get that um, uh, access token and use the APIs to access the same information that we use to build the website. Um, here's a link to the, to, the, um, to the API documents. And also everything you see on the Radar's uh, website uh, is um, under Creative Commons uh, license. So the images embeds are Creative Commons um, um, BY4. And then for the API access, we did to uh, add a uh, non-commercial uh, part for that. And you can see the details of licensing over there um, in, the detail, uh, in the about page. And now, in the recent announcements, we make uh, available for notif notifications as well. So if you look at the, the website, if you see this icon there, you can click on it, and then it will navigate you to a page where you can register or subscribe for uh, anomalies, anomaly detection results, or uh, for a given ASN, given country. Um, and it, it inclu includes the uh, automatic uh, traffic anomaly detections. It also includes the route leak detection and the uh, BGP hijack detections. And the more of the, the new types of data sources coming up. So just search for this icon, and then if you're interested in a given in our work, just uh, click the notification button, and then you can subscribe to it. And it will send you uh, email, uh, email notifi notifications or webhook um, subscriptions. Right, so here's a screenshot of a, um, a Slack notification that is sent um, to a Slack channel uh, via a webhook. So um, that's everything. So just go to the radar.cloudflare.com and check it out yourself. Uh, we got plenty of goodies there, and then not only the routing information, but also outages, also um, DS rankings, and then a bunch of other things there. And if you see anything that is uh, incorrect, where you want to suggest other features you want to add to the radar, please just send an email to radar at cloudflare.com. Thank you. Thank you.